Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to be here in Lisbon today with uh, Professor uh, De Carvalho, uh, Principal Investigator for the uh, Lisbon clinical side within the Brain Teaser Project. Professor, we would like to have some, some updates about how it is going and in particular let's focus a bit on the patients. How many patients have you uh, recruited and maybe which are their expectations? Well, we have recruited so far 51 patients and um, the patients are in general uh, very um, uh, open to collaborate with a project like this. Of course, we are careful not tasking patients who are at a very advanced stage of the disease because uh, it would be uh, uh, an additional effort for those patients. But uh, uh, the patients are very open to collaborate and, uh, and really to help in the development of uh, new solutions for this dreadful disease. And so that's a good experience for us. And the patients take this opportunity to create um, um, a stronger link with the medical team. So this is good. Uh, in general, uh, when they accept to participate and, uh, and the participation rate is very high, they keep uh, working with us and so the adherence is high, mm -hmm. high level and so we are very pleased with this work. That's very good. And uh, going on the other side, uh, so talking about medical doctors and you as a researcher and also about your team supporting you in the implementation of the tools and methodology uh, supported, developed within Brain Teaser. Which are your main expectations? I mean, what did you learn during this um, clinical trial period? Well, we are learning that uh, really that using um, devices for monitoring disease progression is uh, the future, uh, not only in routine clinical practice, but also uh, in clinical studies like, like clinical trials. The patients can be comfortable at home and providing important information for medical decisions and at the same time we can evaluate progression rate and manage the patients and the, anticipate some of the complications associated with the disease. So we learned that we have a, medic, a, a new medical um, process to help the patients in Fuji. Good, so you think that even after the project will end, um, I mean tools, methodologies, practices will be will have a future, I mean, will be continue to be implemented oh, even yeah. in the next stage. Oh, no doubt. I mean, this is the future. I mean, the, the patients using a proper device, a proper software, uh, um, easy, easy to use, uh, user-friendly, uh, and um, in order to have a, a more a stronger contact with the medical team, asking questions when it's necessary, uh, having a quick reply, um, anticipating interventions that uh, are important uh, for the patients in, in order to improve quality of life and survival. Um, and this is for sure the future, uh, not only uh, in clinical studies, but uh, in routine practice. Routine practice. And so um, I'm quite sure about this. That's great. Thank you so much for Thank your you participation. And you. we will keep a date on, on, on the rest of the study results. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It was a great honor. Thank, Thank you. you.